While you're working with your animation, you're going to want to be able to preview a frame or frames to see what it looks like when it finally gets played back or exported. To do that, Stix provides two different modes, Edit Mode and Preview Mode. Edit Mode is the mode that we've been working in so far, and that displays handles, onion skins, and hidden lines. I'm going to move this animation to frame 25. As you can see, all of the nodes are being displayed, as well as the onion skinning. To switch to preview mode, you can do that in two different ways. You can either go to the view menu and choose preview, which hides everything, including the palettes, or you can use the tab key on your keyboard. Tab switches between edit and preview mode, and it's more likely you're going to use that while you're working. You can also preview your animation through the use of the controller palette. This is called the scrubber, and it lets you take a look at one or more frames as they're going to appear in preview mode. If you click and hold down on the thumb of the scrubber, the current frame will go into preview mode, and then as you move the scrubber back and forth, it will take you frame by frame and show you what it's going to look like. When you release, it takes you back into edit mode. The controller also lets you play your animation back within Stix so that you can see what it looks like before you finally export it. To play your animation, click Rewind to go to the first frame, and then hit Play to play your animation back. You can control the speed of the playback by changing it here, or you can loop your playback if you wish. Just a quick note that in the public beta of Stix, the speed of playback within Stix is a little slower than it would play back once it's exported. This will be addressed for the 1.0 release. When you're ready to export your animation, go to the File menu and choose Export. The current version of Stix supports export to QuickTime Movies only, although the 1.0 release will support also animated GIFs. Give your exported animation a name, I'm going to name mine Sailing Away, and click Save. You can then choose the compression method, a frame rate, which it brings from the controller palette, but you can change here, and the size to resize it to. By default, Stix will resize it to 50%. Click the Export button, and Stix will go through two passes during the export. The first is preparing the animation, the length of which will be based on the number of frames that you have in your animation. The second pass is when the QuickTime movie is created and saved to disk. This usually happens very quickly. Okay, now that we have our QuickTime movie exported, we can take a look at it by double-clicking on it and opening it in QuickTime Player. Click the Play button, and as you can see, the animation plays as you expected. Now you know how you can preview, playback, and export your animations using sticks. Since this is a public beta, we're very interested in users' feedback, both for suggestions and especially for bugs that have been found. If you want to report a bug or send in a suggestion, go to the Help menu and choose Send Feedback. The Feedback window will open and you'll be able to report a bug, request a feature, or contact support. Note also that if you want to get a personal response, you can include your email address in the submission, and we will respond to you directly via email. Finally, we wanted to mention that you can get to the STIX website through the Help menu, you can navigate to the STIX forums as well from here, and we strongly suggest that you become a participant in the ongoing discussions around STIX. Thank you for any feedback that you can provide to us. We're always working to try to make STIX better, and we know with your help, STIX will become the best stick figure animation tool out there today.